So the Calico M100 is a 22 long rifle rifle. It is very unusual looking and it's right at home on the sets of some of the most popular movies that we've seen over the last 20 or 30 years. The list is too long to mention as to how many movies this has been in, but it's almost as if the designer of this weapon decided to rethink the 22 from the ground up. Everything about this thing, whether it be how the magazine loads from the top with squeeze clips, or this really weird buttstock. You know, as uncomfortable as it looks, it's really not that bad. It gives you a cheek weld right here. The sights are really good, and this thing is a lot of fun to shoot. It's uh, extremely lightweight, and you know what? The biggest complaint I've seen people have about this, honestly, I'm telling you, is that it takes too long to load and shoot. They get bored shooting this high-capacity firearm. Not me, I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna look at what we can do with this and what it's good at today on Max Head Space 9mm. Now, as I've said before, the Calico M100 magazine is not allowed in some states. Uh, they don't make one with 10 round maximum capacity. Never have, probably never will. So some of the states in the U.S. that are uh, anti-liberty with their laws, I guess people in those states are out of luck. But I wonder if it's possible that uh, a person could have one of these in that state without the magazine, load the rounds in one at a time. Hey, that's a lot of fun. You know, in case people have a question of why so many rounds in a magazine of a gun, there's no need for that. Well, I guess if they want to shoot this way, that's their prerogative. That's just kind of boring, don't you think? I mean, seriously, if that's your idea of fun, is loading rounds one at a time, have at it. Buy the gun without the magazine and enjoy yourself. The Calico M100 is so lightweight and balanced, I'm kind of surprised that Kristen Joy Weiss doesn't have one of these. Maybe she does. Beauty and the Beast. You know, it's up to you to decide which is which. Guns have a lot of different looks to them. A lot of different designs. Now, if you think that a firearm that looks like your grandpappy's hunting rifle, pretty much the way all hunting rifles have looked for the last hundred years. If you think that's beautiful, then you're probably going to want a Ruger 1022. You know, this is one of the most common 22 semi autos in the world. I don't know how many of these things they've made, but you can pick these up for usually under 350 bucks, even for a really nice one. And 
you can do anything with this. There are so many stocks, so many rail systems, uh, grips, optics. You can replace the barrels, you can replace the action, you can replace the bolt or all the parts in the bolt. You can literally do anything with this. This is the Glock of 22 semi-auto rifles. You could easily spend a thousand bucks taking one of these old Ruger 1022s and building it up into some kind of a dream tactical uh, ninja weapon. If you want to do that, I understand because I think that's pretty cool and I like to do that too. And maybe I will with this someday, but it's kind of nice just having a beater that you can throw in the back of a truck on your firewood and not even really care. Uh, it's simple, it's reliable, and it's rugged, and it's cheap. So the Ruger 1022 is awesome for that. Now, if you want to get something that is a little bit more of a statement, this makes a statement, if you want to get something that looks kind of like a laser blaster, if you want to get something that is designed from the top down to be a unique firearm like nothing else in the world, well, the Calico M100 just might be what you're looking for. Now this one is about, oh, well, this was made two years into the company's existence. So it's a really old gun. This was pre-ban. Um, the assault weapons ban, you know? Yeah, this was before that even came into existence. And the thing about this is, if you want to do a lot of modifications to it, you're kind of out of luck. You can go to Calico and buy some of their products that are very proprietary and put them on here and get rail systems and, and um, systems that allow you to put optics on it, slings, things like that. But for the most part, this gun is very difficult to make any modifications to. And that's fine because the way it comes from the factory is really pretty cool. Now, if you were to buy one of these today, the price is almost $700 for one of these brand new. And, you know, for $700, it's a pretty nice 22. It's probably one of the best 22s you're gonna get uh, if, if you want high capacity. So, if you like it the way it is, that's awesome. If you want to customize it and make your own statement and do it the way you want, then the Ruger 1022 is your rifle. But as far as aesthetics are concerned, never the twain shall meet. Either you like this one or you like this one. But, you know, there are two different ways of coming at firearms. Traditional and a complete redesign. You know, some people just don't like loading mags. If you don't like loading mags, you probably shouldn't get a semi-auto. The Calico mag isn't any harder to load than any other. I would say that it probably takes me about the same time to load 10 Ruger 1022 10-round mags as it does to load this 100-round Calico mag. So, some people just don't have the patience for it. I don't mind. I've done it hundreds of times. It takes a while, but it's worth it. This thing is a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know exactly what to tell you as far as why I like it so much, but it just does what I want to do. It plinks very easy, it's lightweight, it's maneuverable, it's quick, and it's dependable. Now some don't have that experience. Some say that it's uh, unreliable. Yeah, it's a little ammo sensitive. You gotta find just what it likes and treat it nice, and it'll treat you nice too. That's all I got to say about it. If you get one, either you'll love it or you'll hate it. If you're a patient sort like I am, 
and develop a relationship with this thing, you will probably find that it does some things that you've never seen a firearm do, and it's probably something that you'll grow to love more and more as time goes by. Calico M100. Nothing like it. All right, what did we learn today? The Calico M100 is a very unique firearm. Is it unique just for the sake of being different? I don't think so. It's got some features that you're not gonna find on any other firearm on the planet. And I think that's kind of special. If you haven't shot one, don't be too critical because you really don't understand what you're dealing with. But if you want a gun that's a great conversation piece, fun to have, own, and shoot, you don't mind fiddling with a little bit more technical gizmos and mumbo jumbo, and you don't mind the fact that this doesn't look like a Ruger 1022, then the Calico is your gun. But for those of you who don't like it and just want to mock it and make fun of it, don't buy one. It's a big world. There's a lot of different firearms out there. Go get yourself a Ruger 1022. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.